Buna ziua! We are Christina and Daniel. It has been on our bucket list to build a tiny home on wheels. We are excited to start the journey of transforming this 2019 Ford Transit van. Today, we will be focusing on flooring, insulation, and framing. Let's dive in to take a closer look. So what we just finished is the two by twos, framing on the floor, and then also the one inch rigid insulation. The two by two actually sets uh, underneath, uh, below the, these higher grooves, except right here, I, this was cut down to one inch so that it matches the foam. But then the rest of them are inside the groove, and then the foam being one inch is on top of the groove. It's gonna make everything nice and flush. The two by fours also were glued down with extremely strong um, caulking adhesive and in just a few areas where it was where I would consider vitally essential we put a couple screws just until it uh, dries and then also instead of holding in place then right here I ran three quarter two pieces of three quarter inch conduit and I'm gonna run wiring from the solar station with the batteries and the inverter and then to here there's also uh, two sets of 14 gauge wire for one 20 volt outlet. So I'll be running the AC current through this sheath wire and then the DC is gonna go through here. We also have a half inch copper. I put it there just in case of future upgrades or um, anything else like that. Over here, we're actually going to be also filling it up with spray foam insulation just to kind of give that insulative property. Underneath it, I also put caulking adhesive so that this isn't moving. So next up, um, what I'd like to do is also add some Reflectix insulation, which also adds approximately an uh, R6 value, then plus the five or so R5 value of the rigid. So we have some decent insulation in the flooring. So we're gonna add this first. On top of that, we will do half inch plywood. It's a three layer, it's pretty, pretty tough. And then on top of that, we're gonna do some uh, light proof laminate flooring. It's approximately 3 8 and it's really, really rigid. It's the waterproof, scratch proof, light proof product. We just put down the reflectix and at the seams we uh, put the aluminum tape and that will be for the vapor barrier to keep the humidity out. And then we just put down the plywood, half inch plywood and now it is ready to install our flooring.
Okay, so what the goal is here is the reflectix going directly onto the exterior panel of the van so that when the exterior panel heats up, it immediately gets pushed right back out, even inside of all the cavities, putting the reflectix first so that then afterwards we can stuff it with insulation. Next up is I want to frame the ceiling so that I can attach the plywood or any sort of ceiling on top of this framing. So I'm going to put the 2x2 framing. Between it is going to be 1 inch rigid insulation. And to do that, I'm cutting these grooves out. It's going to be something like this. And then I'm going to use this all-purpose power grab because it holds it on really tight until I can pre-drill and screw it in. So I'm putting a nice thick bead on there. Maybe even a little bit here. Okay, then I'm gonna pre-drill into these studs that are that are this framing that is interior, and then putting two screws diagonally into that on each end. Here we pre-drilled four holes to mark where the ceiling fan is gonna be and then we cut it from the top. There's gonna be a more in-depth video on how to do that later. All right, and there is the hole. It's gonna have uh, two pieces of framing that go like that, and that's gonna frame it. So it's gonna be right above our bed, which will be perfect. All righty, for the fan, what we did here so far is put these two two by twos um, because essentially what we're going to be doing is going with two by twos and then with insulation in between it. So that actually continued down and then I cut the hole between that. And then this lip right here all the way around is going to be drilled into the metal and into the two by four. So that'll be really nice and strong. So that just gets placed right in there. Real nice. We get drilled from the top, all the screw holes that it has, and then it's gonna be filled with some watertight, weathertight seal. So today uh, we are finishing up on the insulation and uh, we're just going to talk about what we have done so far and just go a little bit more in depth on what we did. 
So over here we have the mineral wall insulation and we put that into the bigger cavities into the van. So as you can see, we put them here and we also put them down here as well, um, even into the door. But we actually kind of stayed away from the moving mechanism uh, cables and whatnot so it doesn't interfere with that. And then into the smaller places where you can't really fit big pieces of uh, insulation we put these uh, recycled material insulation like the blow-in insulation and uh, yeah behind all of these uh, wool insulation we put the reflectance deep uh, into yeah we applied this into the exterior of the interior sheet metal of the van <laughs> Does that make sense? So we put that there. We also put it all on the ceiling as you can kind of see in this hole, we have the reflectors in there. The reflectors are here, literally everywhere, even on the wheel uh, base, um, just to put as much of insulation we can to keep the temperature in the van either warm or cool, depending on what climate we're in. So as well, right over here, we took out this, um, the shelving that was here from factory. We took that out, stuffed this with insulation here in the cavities, used the, um, can't remember what it's called. It's recycled called. material. Uh, yeah, the, like the recycled blow-in insulation. We used that there uh, above. So first there was a reflectix and then there's a uh, rigid insulation. And the cavities, <clears throat> We're putting the spray foam. We still need to fill that up a little bit more and etc. So here this is the way I'm going to proceed now is actually This is uh, one by framing. Well, it's one by board uh, a pine board This one for instance is bolted to the existing thread um, To the existing pre threaded areas where the, the van already had threaded areas so we were able to go directly into the thread that the van already had using um, I think they're eight millimeter bolts and then here I actually use really strong adhesive to the sheet metal and drilled some sheet metal screws into through the board and then now between this we're also using the, the half inch insulation our plan here, and the reason why we did this specifically, is that we have the reflectix and then the rigid. Because we're trying to maximize, let me switch you over there. We're planning on sleeping the long way, so we're really trying to maximize these window wells. So what we did is we had the reflectix first, and then the rigid insulation. And then on top of this is gonna be half inch plywood and then that way we can really maximize our sleeping space we should you should have approximately six foot two um all the way to the finished products so i'm six foot i'll be able to sleep the long ways quite comfortably um that way we can keep the bed um less than half of the van which is great because it meant it was a lot of room for this Next up, I am putting Reflectix directly onto the metal of the door using spray glue adhesive. And right on top of that, I'm putting one inch insulation using strong caulking adhesive. And right on top of the foam insulation, I'm putting another layer of Reflectix. This was my mistake and we actually had to trim away the Reflectix because the door was not closing shut. Okay, so we actually ended up taking the door off.